shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. I always say, Lord, because it's your word, that with two or three God in your name, you'll be in the midst of them. So therefore, Heavenly Father, the two of us are here right now, gathered in the name of Jesus. And we're coming and lifting up your name. And we're coming to open our hearts to receive the teaching and anointing of the Holy Spirit to comfort us and guide us to be able to look at this situation even going on today and be able to say, be still, peace, be still. Because as we get out of the way, you can have your way. Not only in the study, but in our life. So therefore, Father, we want to go with some words dealing about the power of prayer. And, and, and we want to make sure even our prayer now to let people understand, it doesn't matter how you pray. It doesn't matter whether you can do a colorful words and, and be able to speak a certain way. It's just speaking to God. And we're coming to you through Jesus, asking you to teach us. Let the comforter have his way. Teach us this night concerning your word, concerning prayer. Because we know you hear us. And just like Jesus said, Father, I know you always hear me. Hallelujah. We as believers must rest and settle and establish ourselves in that same understanding that you always hear us. So therefore now we get into this discussion of prayer and ask you to anoint us and bless anybody else to hear this recording. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Hey, bro, this is, this is where I'm coming from. One second, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm trying to find the, <laughs> I'm trying to find the uh, slides first. <laughs> One second, I got all, you know, I got all kinds of things covering up my uh, computer. So let me see here. All right, I got there. I'm gonna bring it up to the beginning. I'm gonna put in a slideshow first. And then in slideshow, I'm gonna swap screens. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I keep it like that. That way I can see you all the time as I go through these scriptures. All right. Now, what I these are the ones I'm gonna go through. I'm just mentioning them, okay? Okay. All right. Now check this out. The the when, what 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 brought that to my. Uh, I'm leading by the Holy Spirit from my perspective. I don't care about the best, but I don't care about mine. And he was saying, like, you know, like we read last Sunday when we were talking about Second Thessalonians, he said, and remember these things. Be not troubled, but remember these things. And then the question is, what do you do? And and you've heard the statement many times, pray, right? Pray. And and I know people that especially the people who don't believe in God, their saying is prayer. <laughs> you better you better do something more than that, right? And and what I want to say, Brother Addison, is prayer to those who are listening, and I, you can turn in on that before we you know, get into the scriptures. Prayer does not mean just to pray and, and be idle. Sometimes prayer is... God, you're asking God to do his part to bring it to pass and anoint and bless the part that you're supposed to do in order for it to come to pass. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, and I'm going to use something more, more rudimentary, is if I'm praying for God for a harvest in a field, what is, what is corn, tomatoes, or whatever, I'm praying, Lord, bless me with a good harvest, right? That, that, and I'm looking and trusting in you, Lord. I'm looking for the, the rain. I'm looking for the anointing to, to, to this heaven prosper. Now, my part is I need to go plant the, the tomato seed, right? seeds, right? I need, I need to plant the corn, mm -hmm. right? I need, I need to cultivate the field. I, I need to do my part. 
because I think your, well, your wife was, and some of the people going to listen here would agree there have been things and maybe you personally not I have personally but maybe even you personally something just didn't grow something didn't grow right it it, 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 it just wasn't even a bad plant uh, it didn't take root uh, it wasn't good fertile ground uh, so so those there's, brother as there's people out there that probably can relate to me where we try to grow something and it didn't grow now have you ever tried do you and I'm a, you can tell be honest have that ever been a situation for you no okay good so <laughs> I'm you, just you, kidding I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, um, as as a parable, yeah. Um, but there there hasn't been. Have you ever planted a garden or a tree or something? You know what? I I can tell you this. When I when I was young, I learned to take some cotton, and spread it out in a in a saucer, and put a bean on it. It could be a yep. pinto bean, lima bean, any bean. Uh -huh. You know, make sure the cotton was wet and put it under the cabinet in the dark. Right. And so that the shoot would come out. Okay. And then once it started to grow, uh -huh. take it out and put it in the sunlight and right. that sprout would start to come up uh -huh. and it would open up. Okay. But I never did take care of it after that. I didn't re-transplant it into a uh, pot or anything like that, right. but it would just wither away. Right. So yeah, you know that. But outside of that, if 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 I planted some seeds, it pretty much grew. A lot of times I had problems, like when <laughs> I did the... the uh... Come on, you told me what. You told me what. You told me Yeah, the the the... the was it that, that fruit? Was no, it fruit? this was a yeah. I, I did have some problems with the with the pomegranate, <laughs> but the uh, <laughs> but now the opposite what? was the cucumbers. Now, I planted some cucumbers, thinking I was just going to get a few cucumbers and not even worry about it. But <laughs> it just, man, I what? couldn't give them cu cucumbers away. I had so many cucumbers. Oh, okay. So you had. And a good when time. I planted it, I didn't really take care of the soil or. Or water it, or or anything. I mean, the thing just grew, and it took over a section of my patio. It grew I, out on concrete. Well, well, hey, look, look. Let's look at let's look at that one. I, in other words, some things that 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 can't seem like got out of order, right? <laughs> no, no, that was that was uh, full measure, shaking together, and running <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, I, I would agree with that. It, it, so, it yeah, deep. it was, it was, I mean, it you, was amazing. I mean, but now, the pomegranates, I got those and, and planted them, but I, I didn't have them in the right environment. I had them inside my screened-in patio. Oh. So, thinking that, okay, well, I'll protect them from, you know, the bugs, so the bugs can't eat them, the birds can't eat them. Oh. I'll just have all this fruit for myself. Oh. Well, <laughs> it, you it could wouldn't put... never develop. It would just fall off and dry up and wither <laughs> away. And I'm trying to figure out why it was doing that. And then, you know, then I guess it was just the Lord showing me. Uh, what? After, Come on, After Stop. two years. T two years, too. Come on, two, two years. years the, the trees really never grew. Maybe grew uh, about a foot yeah. in height, right. and uh, and then I, I realized that they were in the wrong environment. They they weren't subject to the bees, so they weren't being pollinated. Okay. Hey, hey, did you you so said that I transplanted them? Right. And man, I'm just enjoying the the, the fruits the now. Harvest. Right. Right. Now, and, and and I think that's a good example because you put that in a. You, we can put that in a spiritual perspective at the same time when you say it, okay, talking about the environment. Yeah. The environment, right? Yeah. So so sometimes we could be in in the, on a spiritual plane dealing with our life or what we're asking for, certain things that the environment impacts it. 
Uh-huh. That's that's one, right? Yeah. An environment could be hanging around the wrong people. <laughs> oh yeah. Baby. Now look, I can I can even add on to this this parable. Yes, sir. So when I went to transplant, I had two two pomegranate trees. Yes, sir. So when I went to go transplant these trees from the, you know, out of the pot into the ground, uh, my gardener said, he said these words. <laughs> he said, the more money you put in the ground, the more fruit you're going to bear. Okay. okay. Meaning you got to dig down and put good soil down in deep and, and, and you know, add minerals in there and then put your plant in that environment. Yeah, that, you know what? Cause so, I, wanted, I wanted to throw stuff and stop for a second. I want to make sure we understand it. He's, he's not. He wasn't talking about the literal money. No, he wasn't talking money. about taking taking actually like like <laughs> dollar bills and coins and throwing it down in a hole. No, he was talking about investing in the soil. You know, Ooh. buying rich soil Ooh. and and digging deep. Come on. And, and putting underneath. Oh what you plant right. so that your roots can grow out into that and pull all those resources that you just put down in there uh -huh. so the environment was was is is at the root level is great but that, that's that where go, that go it's with growing the from. Of mark good ground yeah so and we're right back to that so now he told me that so i spent i spent <laughs> a lot of money for one plant uh -huh. And he was out there, and he 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 did all that, but I'm like, you ain't got to do all that. You <laughs> just plant it, and as long as that thing get water, it should be fine. Oh, the same thing. Some people in the real world, right? You ain't got to do all that prayer. You ain't got to do all that studying. Yeah. You so ain't all that. Huh? The second plant, <laughs> and I plant. <laughs> I dug a hole, and I put that thing in the hole. And I covered it up and I made sure it was right in the area where it got all the water it needed because it would run right off my house, right down in the area, and it would just soak up that whole area uh -huh. every time it rained. Right, right. And so I was like, I'm not putting no money into this one. Not as much as I put in the other one. I'm just digging this hole and just sticking it there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so let me tell you, this year I still got. <laughs> I still have pomegranates, and this the season is is is, is over with. Yeah, yeah. You got still have pomegranates on the one where I put money in the ground. The one I didn't, it didn't produce not one. Hey, that's nothing. No. Hey, hey, hey. And, and, and part of that parable kind of is like you had to dig something out to make room for something. Fertile, you know, fertile. Yeah. Well, you got to prepare your, your environment. Woo! What? Come on, then. You know, you can put that in life, real world. Now. Come on, come on, come on. You see where I'm coming from, don't you? you yeah. See? So you got to, you, you have to invest into your, into the environment. So that's the way I look at it. And, yeah. and that guy was right. You got to, you got to actually invest into, the plant so that it can grow and produce Woo! at its best Woo! so i don't know what this 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 other pomegranate tree is going to do but i'm definitely going to invest into some some uh some nutrients and some yes, some uh some what are those things called food strips what, what, or whatever well you're gonna have to put you're gonna take some of that hard soil out of there right oh i'm gonna take okay. some good soil i'm gonna put i'm gonna i'm gonna take some of the top soil off and put some good soil around it yep. and then cover that up and then, you know that'll seep yeah. down in there i'm gonna put some uh some plant food and stuff and See? put some spikes down in there make sure all that stuff seep down in there and then hopefully this next year we'll see if it does something you know it's funny uh, look now now we now we can say Oh, it's gonna do something because I'm believing God. He's gonna give the harvest. And God gonna bless this because I invested it. I invested my time. You yeah. Know? Well, you know, there, there's there's a few things that I, that I look at in this Come on. Come on, brother. that that I get out of this because 
you know, the, the, during the, the Passover, yes, sir. Yes, sir. you know, there was instructions given. <laughs> and if they didn't follow those instructions that God gave them, Come on. then their firstborns would have died right along with yeah. Egypt's right. firstborn. You was obedient to that man. Okay, so there, there's instructions. There's sometimes you need to you, you need to follow those instructions. No different than this pandemic. Yes, sir. You need yes, to stay sir. inside. There's this thing you need to yes, you need to uh you need to follow some rules in order to exist. Come on. And now. if you don't, you know, look at all the people that's died. Yes, so sir. So they're 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 it's ap applicable that you need to there's some <laughs> instructions that you need to follow in order to uh to survive or to to uh get a harvest yes sir. yes sir. Oh, yeah you, i don't i don't think you can just hey bitch you 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 personally from experience i think it's 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 tough to just hear someone teach a message. Oh, you? Huh? oh, you can't hear nobody. You might be on. You might be on mute. Check your check your microphone. Well, if he can't hear you, he ain't gonna hear that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. He he looking. He trying to figure it out. Check your microphone. A lot of times you gotta. You got to click a button when you first log in that says uh, use audio, computer audio. Yeah, I think his mic is not connected to the. He He'll got, figure it out. He's an engineer. He'll figure it out. Well, look, but look. Anyway, I'm did just. You see, did you see what you just said? Now, look, I, can I throw one in there? I want to throw one piece in there real good was that money in the hole. It wasn't, you see, I'm saying, because some people, <laughs> they think, <laughs> if I put the money. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully that ain't what they think. <laughs> oh, come on now. I'm, bring, I'm trying to bring, I'm taking your parable or yeah. your life situation in the harvest. And I think that's how Jesus was doing it. Yeah. Some people go to church. Could I, what, you, you want to translate, what does that mean? in the way of spiritual growth and life yeah yeah well i mean you have to invest you you have to invest in it and you got to spend time and you got to cultivate what you have come on bro um, obviously the tree that i just dug and just stuck in a hole and waited on it it's still alive it's alive okay, okay. it's growing right it's not producing any fruit though uh-huh so, so if you got people that's... just stuck in the church, yeah, yeah, you know, and they didn't, they're not investing in that ground that they're in. No, I... They're alive. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't producing no fruit. <laughs> hey, look, look, they they can put, they can put. You can go out there now, put twenty dollars in the hole. They can put thirty dollars in the hole, yeah. and, and and you walk away, and you still ain't gonna get a harvest because no, that's you don't get no harvest. If you thought the investment was the actual cash, when we talk yeah. about people put money in the basket, yeah, they, that ain't it. They, the they, investment they, is is for here. Come on, yeah. I don't worry. Six inch, this yeah. six inch battlefield. Come on, <laughs> six by six. This 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 yeah. this right here. This brain housing unit. Exactly. You don't invest in that. Yeah, it comes to the things of God. You're not gonna bring. You're, you're not gonna produce fruits of the spirit. You're not. That's why I think that's that's. I think that's why Jesus made it easier to, to take natural things. Oh, he took the real life and hope other thing, life and spirit. Yeah. But yeah. he showed us like, if you want to harvest, if you, because the whole prayer I start off with saying is, you. There's a part that you play. And, 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 and if you come into God and petition to God, you got to do whatever you can do mm -hmm. and ask him to bless that too. That's part of the process. Yeah. Can you hear us, Bishop? I can hear you now, yeah. Hey, Bishop, hey, Brother Asley was preaching in here. He is I preaching. I was preaching. <laughs> he was, he was, we were talking about 
the subject we're talking about was we first came in, we're discussing initially real quick about all the different, you know, the the phoniness of the election and, and, and people not believing and thinking it's phony and going against state, you know, the principle of the one party, state rights was the main thing. Give more power to the states and less power to the federal government. And yet now you got some actually want to go to the federal government to to sue another state concerning how they did the election. Uh, and then try to disfranchise people. And I was saying is that when God God was dealing with me, because you know, it does seem uh, troubling. And we said last week when we read the scriptures about Thessalonians, don't be troubled. I told you these things gonna happen. And and then I was sitting there and the, the, the part that came to me is saying this, pray, right? But he was telling me that I want you to make sure you and anybody else understand Prayer does not mean you don't do nothing. Prayer means that you're asking God to bless, not to, for God to bring it to pass, but to bless those things that he knows you're supposed to be able to do. And then what we ran into was, as, and I told him, I said, the, the, you know, Jesus does, does harvest, right? When you plant something. And, and, and Brother Addison was giving his modern day example, because I said, Bishop, that, I, you know, people say a green thumb. I, I, I don't have a green thumb. <laughs> I, it, it does not grow. I have, I have tried to grow some things and it just didn't work. And then he tried to say he ain't never had that problem. But then I brought yeah. the members of stuff he even told me, and now he was telling me. But uh, and was using that uh, analogy. He he was. You can now tell them quicker. You can summarize what you're talking about. But one of the things that caught my attention was the guy told him about that pomegranate tree was that you got to put some money in it if you want to make this thing work. You got to put some money in it. And I was I was fooling with him on the part about how some people actually. Well, he was saying, <laughs> just so he understand, he said you got to put money in the ground in order to get some fruit. Yeah, that was the best there, right? So so that's what he said. And basically he was talking about you got to spend some money on some soil. Right. You know, some good nutrients and everything. Right. And prepare this ground for this tree. And we said get, this people. He said the, 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 the more way. money you put in, the better your harvest is gonna be. Hey, but we so said he was like <laughs> he was Terry was Taylor was saying. <laughs> I can just see people taking dollar bills and coins and throwing it in the hole since you said put money in the ground. <laughs> hey, look, look. Hey, if that's what we say about people passing the basket around, is <laughs> that, oh, I just, let me just put some money <laughs> Put it in the basket to get the harvest. <laughs> and not invest in the things that you have to do. For example, I'll say it is he had to dig a hole, Bishop. And in that hole, he had to take out the soil that was bad. And I think any rocks and anything else that was in there, right? You had to take yeah. it out, right? <laughs> and there was some, some roots from a tree that we cut down. You see what I'm saying? Down in that hole, we had to take that out. Come on. You know, and we had to get that hard clay. Right. We had to dig down deep. Put, yeah. put, man, put a lot of money in there. <laughs> it, it, see, more than, look, I'm going to be honest with you, more than I wanted to. Well, Obviously, then, since the other tree, I just dug a hole and just stuck the tree in it. <laughs> <laughs> but some of because it was a good ground and bad ground. He put one, one of the places he put down was it, it, it would naturally get water. You know, when it rained, that, that, that when the rain drains, that the water flew, flowed in that direction where that plant was. And the other one probably was different. But the point was, he had to, not only just money, time. You had to put yeah. time in it. Huh? You, you, yeah. you put time in it? Well, to, to be money. honest, I, I, I don't want to lie in, in Bible study. I ain't put no 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 real time in it. I, the the, uh, the gardener put time oh. in it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got another problem. Breaking, breaking my back with this red clay dirt out here. <laughs> Hey, Bishop, now we got another problem. Pastor to pray for him. Pastor to pray for him. Don't worry about it. Let the pastor do it. He'll spend the time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? 
And he started off saying that he had no problem letting things grow. And and now I'm getting even, I didn't catch the part about you ain't putting well, no <laughs> the, they growing. Both plants are growing, but only one of them producing fruit. Hey, well, what, what I was checking out was now, well, your parable was, I guess you get the benefit of the harvest, but it was somebody else who was actually doing the work. But you, no, you, no, not necessarily. Okay. okay. I still, I still had to go get the, I had to go get the, the soil. I had to get the, uh, the, uh, bricks that I use to put around the barrier okay, okay. so that the people cutting the grass won't cut the uh the, the trunk of the tree. Okay. You know, because we planted a tree when my son was born. Okay. In my yard, you know, to grow with him. Right. And uh the, the gardeners came by and they would just weed eat around the tree and they just took the bark off at the base of the tree. Right. And they kept doing that and they killed the tree. Oh, okay. So this time I made sure there was a barrier. Ah you protecting you know. now. Look now, you're protecting your seed. You 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 know you know you you, you made sure it was the tree. Now was abiding in the secret place, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it really was. And, 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 you know, there's a there's a whole lot of analogies you can <laughs> you can put into that. But what? you know, the first one is. Uh, you learn from your mistakes. <laughs> you, do. you do, yeah. Because I guarantee you, uh, if I if I wanted to try again, I wouldn't do the same thing that I probably tried in the past of trying to uh -huh. grow the watermelon or anything else. You have to listen to instructions. You know. You know what? Since you said watermelon, I had I had my friend. He brought me some watermelon seeds up from Texas. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I planted them things. And if if they grew, I think there's a chance they grew, but I don't think so. Yeah. But the gardener, since I, I my wife, she she does the books for a lawn service, so I don't really get to do the yard or anything like that anymore. Uh, not that I really want to, but some you know, there every every blue moon I want to do it. But I still thank God I don't have, <laughs> have yeah. to. Yeah. But uh, I think they might have thought it was like a weed growing up in the in the flower bed or something, and just weeded it down or something like that every time it would grow. But I haven't seen one watermelon in my yard yet, and that's been like four years. Okay, and, and obviously you, you have to do the same instruction. You know what? what? I take that back. Uh oh, you found something. A wild one. Yeah, a wild one. Oh. I took I took some watermelon seeds and put it in a pot. Okay. Right. And had the pot inside my screened in patio. Uh-huh. Watermelon got about that big. Because they had enough root. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean the pot, a huge pot. <laughs> but I don't know if, if it needed to be pollinated now that I think about it. Yeah, that could be. Right. Get some air. I really don't know. Yeah. He, 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 huh? You gotta have sunlight. Sunlight. Oh, there's plenty of sunlight in my in my. It's just screened in my my back patio, and uh, it grew and it just withered away. That just that one watermelon. So I just pretty much just got rid of the. Uh, it's got to have a minimum of six hours sunlight per day. Oh, it's 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 got it. How's it, it this spot. Where, where it was, you trying to tell everything me, else grew out there. You're trying to tell me that the sun is is exposed to the sunlight for six yeah. hours? Yeah. From like about eight o'clock till right. maybe, maybe three, four o'clock. Okay. I think it's just a root of it probably in that pot. That's what I'm thinking. I just think it most likely it was because it was inside the screen in patio. It wasn't subject to, like to anything. And stuff like that, yeah. You yeah. know, like the bees and whatnot. No different than the pomegranate tree. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it, they withered away exactly the same way. They those pomegranates, just a few pomegranates would grow and they'd get uh, a little bit bigger than a golf ball uh -huh. and they'd fall off the, the tree and dry up. Right. Are you, are you seeing fertilizer in the tree? Pardon? 
Are you still fertilizing the tree? No, no, no. Uh, those pomegranate trees was well, they were inside my screen and patio, and they were never po pollinated by the bees and and whatnot. Oh, okay. So once I took them from outside of my screened in patio and put them out in the open, then the bees and stuff pollinated them and they and they're producing, or at least one. Yeah. One of them, one of them man. But it